Hello everyone, in this video tutorial I'll be going through the dual scan module. The dual scan technique consists of two scanning procedures. The first scan is of the patient we wearing radiolucent dentures with radiographic beads attached to it. And the second scan is of the denture on its own, so you would take the denture out of the patient's mouth with the radiographic bead still attached and you would place that in the CBCT scanner and scan that on its own. Now it's radiolucent but that is not an issue. We need to have it radiolucent because we need to identify the beads and the pattern of where the beads are placed. Those patterns between two DICOM images will overlap each other and it will create a successful merge of the files. The second scan consists of the denture on its own in the CBCT scanner. Now the position is quite important. It needs to represent how it was positioned in the patient's mouth. So if it's a maxilla case with the teeth facing downwards, you would rest the denture on its teeth and the fitting surfaces will be above. If it's a mandible case and the teeth are facing upwards, you would rest the denture on its flanges in the CBCT scan. Please do not remove the beads. The beads need to be present in both CBCT file scan. Once the scanning procedure has been complete, you would open Simplant and open the patient scan first. Once you've opened the patient scan first, you would need to then segment the upper arch. If you do not know how to segment the upper arch, please view video tutorials on basic segmentations on fully edentulous cases. Once you've segmented the arch, you would then go on to Prepare for Planning and click on Dual Scan Wizard. This is now a search field. If you were to leave it like this, it will take a long time for your PC to find the beads and calculate them together. So reduce the search field by dragging on the little white block up and even these lines here on the left, drag it towards the right and just narrow the search field for the PC. The smaller the search field, the quicker the actual merge would be. So the most important thing here is to make sure that the beads are in place within that block. Okay, we know that they're all there, they're all within that block, so we're going to click on next. Is the patient uh, completely dentulous? Yes, select yes, and then move forward again. Now you'll see a folder, and this folder is for you to locate where the prosthesis scan is stored. Now I've stored it in the same folder as my patient scan, but I've split the files into two and I've, I've labeled it as a prosthesis scan. So I've clicked on prosthesis scan and this is still an individually sliced format in raw DICOM format. I've not opened it or created a, um, um, a Simplant file of that fi uh, folder at all. It's still in its raw format. Click on OK and it will actually show up with a preview of what's in that DICOM file. So it's showing you that this is the denture. Okay, you can actually see in this image how these beads were placed. Alright, please do not use too little amount of beads. It will not have enough uh, reference points to merge the files together. Also, this is an old stent. Um, you do not have to have screw channels drilled onto the actual stent itself. Just use the patient's existing dentures and you would have the prosthetic envelope um, that is more than enough information to continue with the plans of your project. If you're happy with the threshold, you can continue to next. But if you've scanned it in a low dosage scan and you need to um, restore the image, sometimes it will appear half half uh, visible in this stage here in the, the 3D image. Just drag the threshold until you've restored that information. And the reason why it's restoring is because there's nothing else around that. It is black, so it's now picking up whatever is in that surface or whatever is in that area. And this is a radiolucent denture, so it acts like a radiopaque denture in the Simplant software. You click on next, and I'm not doing anything now. The system's going to find the beads in both CBCT files and merge the two together.
if you've not used beads and you've used some sort of manual way of marking in radiographic material within the denture itself, sometimes it will not calculate because it's not symmetrical. Um, ideally, please use beads. It's cleaner. It's it's something that you can actually embed into the denture, at least our beads, of course. Our beads are glass beads, so they are not uh, going to affect the aesthetics of the denture. You can embed them within the denture and, and no one would really notice them at all. Um, and by having the dentures um, you know, in place in both scans with symmetrical beads attached to it, there's very little to do in the Simplon software when merging the two files together. Once you've merged, you can click on Finish. Once the calculation is completed, you will now have the prosthetic envelope within your plan to then go ahead and continue with the planning of your implants. This completes the video tutorial on the dual scan technique. Thank you very much.